I love to play golf. And about 15 years ago, we, my brother and I and our family members decided to go to Scotland to play all the old golf courses. And of course, the course that I wanted to play more than any other was the old course at St. Andrews, the oldest golf course in the world, okay? Of which all great golfers, because it's the oldest golf course in the world, all great golfers have teed off at the old course. And I wanted to play the old course, and so we went through our travel agent, we went through all of our connections, and, and it was a total close that day. We couldn't get on the old course, we couldn't get it in our agenda, and so we we're going to play all the other great courses. We we're going to go play Muirfield and all the other ones, but we weren't going to get in the old courses. And, and they said we couldn't, we, didn't have, we couldn't play the old course, but they said we could play the new course. Now, the new course is right beside the old course. The old course is 400 years old. The new course is 300 years old. So we said, well, okay, we'll, we'll play the new, at least we can say we played at St. Andrews, even though it's a new course. We pulled in the parking lot and it's still bugging me that we can't get on the old course. And I, 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 so when we pulled in, I said, let me out right here. It was right kind of where the, uh, where you go in to talk to the chief steward, who was the one who let you on the course. I said, let, let me off right here. I said, you guys park the car. You bring the clubs. I said, I, I, I'm going to try. I'm just going to try one more time to get on the old course. And so I walked in, and, and there was this gentleman here that uh, was behind his desk, and he had his ledger out there and all the tea times. And he was very proper. He had a tie on. And, and I approached him, and, and I introduced myself, and, 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 and I, I, I said, sir, I said, uh, I, I have a question I'd like to ask you. He said, what's that? I said, have you ever knowingly helped a person realize a lifetime dream? <laughs> he, said, he said, what do you mean? I said, well, what I mean is, have you ever knowingly looked at a person and said to yourself, because of me, See, the title of the book is Good Leaders Ask Great Questions. <laughs> not average questions, not mediocre questions. It's how you, it's how you ask the questions. It's what you say the question. I said, have, have you ever knowingly, have you ever knowingly looked at a person and say, I, here's what I know. I know I help them fulfill a lifetime dream. I, and he, he looked at me, he said, well, he said, I, 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 I'm not so sure that I, I could say that. I said, today... It's your lucky day. <laughs> this, is this is your lucky day. For tickets and information, go to the website, givethanksnashville.com.